Brilliant Maths, where we teach maths with a passion. Go to the blog. There are lots and lots of exercises. BrilliantMaths.com. You'll find it very useful. Today we are starting a new topic, Circle Theorems. It's a very interesting topic. And the first theorem we're taking is the angle subtended at the center of a circle is twice the angle subtended at the circumference. Here we have a circle, and where we have the point O is the center. It's the center of the circle. The theorem is saying that the angle subtended at the center by this arc, arc AB, is twice the angle subtended at the circumference. So that means that angle AOB, AOB, which is 2x here, is equal to twice angle ACB. Very interesting theorem. And the angle at the center here is twice the angle at the circumference. Both angles are subtended by the same arc the arc AB. Look at it. Arc AB subtends 2x at the center and the same arc subtends angle x at the circumference. Let's prove this theorem. Alright, we want to prove the first theorem. The theorem that says that the angle subtended at the center of a circle is twice the angle subtended at the circumference. And we mentioned earlier on that the angle subtended at this center by arc AB is twice the angle subtended at the circumference by the same arc AB. So the first step is to draw a line. Draw a straight line COD. The reason is to obtain two triangles with which we can prove the theorem. So let ACO. ACO is angle Y. Alright? And then let BCO be angle Z. So we have the angle at C is actually split into Y plus Z. Now we have two triangles triangle AOC and triangle. B O C. So we're starting with triangle A O C. If you look at triangle A O C, A O, the line A O is equal to the line O C or C O. The reason they are both radii. Each of them is a radius of the circle because the point O is the center of the circle and the line runs from the center to the circumference. So we can actually say that this line is equal to this line. They are both radii. And if both of them are radii, that implies that angle OCA, that's the angle Y, is equal to the angle OAC, the angle at this point. Why? Because you have an isosceles triangle there. It's isosceles because OA is equal to OC. So this is Y and this is also Y. Permit me to write that. So that goes to say that COA is equal to 180 minus 2Y. COA, COA is equal to 180 minus 2y. The reason is sum of angles in a triangle. y plus y plus whatever angle is here should give us 180 degrees. So if we subtract 2y from 180, we get that angle. Then AOD is equal to 2y. Why? AOD will be the exterior angle of this triangle. And this exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So, AOD is equal to 
Why? Similarly, using triangle COB, the first time we used triangle COA. So now we're using the second triangle. So using triangle COB, it follows that BOD, which is this angle over here, is equal to 2z. The same way we obtained 2y here. This is an isosceles triangle, so these angles are equal. So that means it's also equal to z. And this exterior angle is the sum of the two interior opposite angles. So that's equal to 2z. And we know that ACB is equal to y plus z. That's the angle subtended at the circumference. We already know, we're given that ACB is Y plus Z. Then that implies that AOB, the angle at the center, is equal to AOD, which is 2Y, AOD is 2Y, plus BOD, which is 2Z. So automatically, we have that AOB is equal to 2y plus 2z. And 2y plus 2z can be written as 2 into y plus z. So a o b, which is 2y plus 2z, is equal to twice the angle at the circumference, which is a c b. So a o b is equal to 2ACB. And that is what we're required to prove. Let's look at an example. Example, find the values of angles X and Y in the circle with center O. That means that the center of this circle is O. We're finding the values of angle X and angle Y. The first thing you do when you have a problem like this is to find which arc subtends which angle? So we're looking at arc CB. Arc CB subtends angle 88 at the center, and the same arc CB subtends angle X at the circumference. So we're going to use the theorem we just proved. So we have that COB, the angle at O, is equal to 88 degrees that is given and knowing that this angle is 88 let's find CAB CAB is angle X CAB is equal to 88 degrees divided by 2 because that's the angle subtended at the circumference by the same arc that subtends angle 88 degrees. So it's equal to 88 degrees divided by 2. The reason is angle at center is twice angle at circumference. That's the theorem we are using. So CAB is angle X. So X is equal to 44 degrees. We're fine with that. Let's find angle Y. Angle Y is a part of the triangle COB. And triangle COB is an isosceles triangle. How do we know that? It's a source case because CO is equal to OB. Both of them are radial because O is the center of a circle. So we have line CO is equal to line BO. The reason is radial. So triangle COB, triangle C. O B is 
an isosceles triangle. Fine. So if we know that triangle COB is isosceles and we have an angle of 88 degrees up there, that means that angle Y, Y plus another Y, because it is isosceles, the two base angles are equal. So we can basically say that 2Y plus 88 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Sum of the angles in a triangle, that's the reason. Sum of angles in a triangle. So Y is equal to 180 degrees, take away 88 degrees, all over 2. 180 minus 88 degrees. We we'll borrow one from 8. 10 take away 8 is 2. We are left with 7. 7 take away 8, we can't. 17 take away 8 is 9. So we have 92 degrees divided by 2. If we divide 92 by 2, 2 in 9 is a 4. You carry 1. 2 in 12 is 6 degrees. So, and y is equal to 46 degrees. So we've solved that question. Angle X is equal to 44 degrees, and angle Y is equal to 46 degrees. Find the value of the max angles. A line passes through the center only when point O is shown on the diagram. Number one, we can see the drawing. Find the value of angle P. Number two, we're finding the value of angle Q and angle R. We see the angle 88 degrees there. You know what to do with it. Question three, find the value of angle S and angle T. O is the center. Take time and work them out. My name is Ngozi Arobagine. Continue to follow me on brilliantmaths.com. Continue to watch this channel, subscribe to it, and keep watching. Brilliantmaths.com is an exciting maths platform. You will get lots and lots of exercises. Practice them. It will help you excel in maths. And always remember, the maths is fun, and you can do it.